because look, you actually, uh, you actually brought this up. You were telling me about the absolute disgust and hatred you have towards Australians that comes all the way to Texas and train a new way, bro. <laughs> that seems to be your uh, your thoughts. Um, well, let's start. We won't say his name, but uh, he is your student. And you've done a lot for him. You coach him, you help him, you do all these things for him. And then he goes, trains with your arch nemesis, uh, fake PhD professor in Texas. And with Gordon, who attacks you online every day. <laughs> and then he fucking gets on his knees for Gordon. You know, it's a bit of an interesting thing with that man. Cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. We've got people that have trained at both. Yeah. Yeah, some people have gone to B team, some have gone to New Wave. Fair. My plan is to have a match. I want to find out who's going to win. You know, put it the Australians that go to B team against the Australians that go to New Wave. And well, we actually already did it. Uh, I believe one Declan Moody did have a victory at New Wave headquarters, submitting him. I remember. I think they had a match pre. The guy's time at New Wave and Declan didn't submit him. So under your tutelage, it was a points or a decision match. He goes to New Wave, gets submitted immediately by Declan Moody. How do you feel about that? Must just mean that my tutelage is... (laughs) 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 Yeah. That's one match, yes. We'll... uh... I mean, well, we'll, we'll, we'll just, what else is there? I mean, all right. So I feel like like both teams will get offended if I set up a a match in in Australia yeah to be honest uh, some people are at New Wave that we have kicked out yeah and they're also absolute students as well yeah I would say that we have a vastly different um, line you know like if someone crosses the line they're out of B team but I feel like you're you're very me. You operate kind of like a church-like environment, you know. You, uh, you want to help people grow, become better people. <laughs> like almost like a cult-like environment, you know. A cult? Well, a cult, you, you take in the the wounded, you know what I mean? The oh, spiritually maybe wounded. Just generous, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. So you allow allow them to fuck up a few times or well, uh, out of there? Not necessarily. My experience as a co- like running a gym has been if, Usually if someone messes up once and you give them a second chance, you usually regret it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 100%. It's like, it'll happen again. Yeah. That's generally been the case. But yeah. The worst part of opening a gym for me was the realization that every single thing that you think would be normal behavior needs to be written down and put on the wall in front of whatever thing that happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, common sense is not so common. Yeah, using like shoes. If someone doesn't put their shoes on the bathroom and goes back to the mat, bang, they're out of there. Is that a ban? Last time ban? No, they, they don't know that. How could you not know that? Though? I don't know. Some people haven't been to gyms before. Maybe in their, at their house they do that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm trying to think of what other things. We kick people out for anything, hey? Like if they... Who does the kicking out? Do you do it? I don't do it, no. but I, so you just you get to decide, and then you. Well, sometimes, uh, sometimes it's kind of like Survivor. You know what I mean? We have the five coaches, the five owners, and we all take a vote on it. You know. Yeah. But but who does the dirty work? Well, I mean, we pay someone to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna. I gotta be the. Good guy. <laughs> I absolutely have to be the good guy there. Maintain. Is it the guy behind the camera? <laughs> to maintain good relationships with the students, you know. Right. So you get to be on the good terms, but you kick them out. Well, I don't speak to them usually at all. You know, like I try to avoid most communication with the members. It is difficult, you know. Like you, I remember you telling me you're like, man, I don't remember half these fucking people's names. And you used to tell me that all the time. Yeah. How do you overcome that? Just don't remember everyone's <laughs> names. <laughs> yeah, it's too hard. I mean, if, if you when you got a smaller gym, you know you can know everyone. But like when it gets bigger, you can't. It's just well, I'm scared to you. Especially if, like I'm introverted, so like I don't know. I think I'm, my my social circle's meant to be small. <laughs> Sounds like an excuse. So I'm scared now because I used to just say bro or whatever, but now that like, you you know you might be misgendering, you might be getting in trouble for that. You know, so like 
What is the they, them generic term? I don't know. You're in the US. You've got to deal with that. Oh, Melbourne's way worse. <laughs> Melbourne's fucking wild for that stuff. You don't think? I don't know. I can't say the things I say in Texas and Melbourne. I fucking... Texas might be different. Got a bit of trouble over there.